Hey guys, so I got a couple packages in the mail today, and uh, in both of those packages I got some wonderful projects, and I think I want to get started on one of them. Uh, so as you can see in front of me, I have six Pokemon games. Uh, two are original US, two are original Japanese, and then this bottom left one is a bootleg, and this bottom right one is a brand new custom cartridge. Uh, I guess technically it's not a Pokemon cartridge because it's just a generic flash cart. This is uh, a new cart from Inside Gadgets. Uh, this is a one of it, it. Let me stumble over my words here. It's a 32 megabyte flash cart for Game Boy Advance. Now this is pretty cool in uh, a couple different ways, uh, but the coolest thing about it is this uses actual flash saves. Of course. Mine is unpopulated, uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but this uses actual flash saves, so it's compatible with most Pokemon games and ROM hacks thereof uh, without modification. Um, the biggest thing you'll notice though is there's no, there's no uh, real-time clock hardware on this, so while it might or might not work with uh, Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire, uh, the berry mechanic won't work for you. You'd still need a patched ROM. Um, but it does work perfectly fine with Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Pokemon ROM hacks based on those. But what I want to talk about in particular is Pal Park. So I want to explore uh, what happens with Pal Park. Ooh. So this is my legitimate Pokemon Emerald game here. And if we boot up my DS Lite into Soul Silver, I'm just gonna turn the volume off because that's gonna get obnoxious real quick. Da -da -da. This is my original Soul Silver that I picked up back in the day, and I have a lot of hours on it if you can't tell. Uh, but what I wanna point out is the Pal Park mechanic. If you have a legit game and you've meet, met all the requirements, um, and you insert it at the same time, you'll get this migrate from insert game here option, and you can import Pokemon from there. I don't want to import right now because I'm still in the middle of a game, and I either have nothing in my box that I want to import or stuff that I still need to beat the game with. And you can do that with any original game, uh, except, it, but it does have to match your region, or at least that's what I've found out so far. This game... Even though it is an original Pokemon Emerald, I can't import from this game because I'm using a... Ooh, it didn't even recognize the cart that time. Because I'm using a uh, North American, specifically US, Soul Silver, and this is a Japanese Emerald. Um, there might be some patches out there I haven't really explored. This is an actual original cart, so I couldn't patch it if I wanted to. But if I was running it off a flash card, I could. Either way, there's no import option there. Um, another thing, if you have a bootleg cart, that won't let you import at all. It's, I don't know if it's copy protection or if it's just a function of how the actual mechanic works. Um, bootleg cartridges use SRAM for saving, so nearly all games that run off of a bootleg are patched to save using SRAM, and the 4th gen Pokemon games look for this flash chip, that's not there of course, for to, to actually save. Um, and this cart does not have that flash chip. So even though the ROM ID might be correct, since it can't find the flash, uh, the flash chip, it's not going to be able to import. And this one, even though the flash chip is there, the ROM ID is wrong, so something I'm going to try and import. And by ROM ID, I mean this up at the top here. This is, you can see AGB BPEJ, whereas this one is AGB Focus BPEE. -E. Uh, the, it's the same game, BPE, Pokemon Emerald, but the last E is the uh, language code there. And this is an English game, this is a Japanese game. You can trade between these two, but apparently you can't import directly, which is a little bit ridiculous, Nintendo, but I think that ship has long since sailed. All right, so now on to the actual 
purpose of this video here. Um, I bought this cart on Yahoo Auctions specifically because I wanted parts to fix this cart. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but my shell is pretty beat up here. There's a, it's bulging right here, and there's a nice big old crack in it, and up here. Um, I was very young and stupid at one point, and the battery died in this, and I decided to replace it with a taped battery, and it ended up pretty much ruining my cartridge. I've since fixed that, and I have a regular battery in there, and it's working fine, but the damage is already done, and uh, live and learn. Um, I don't know if you have looked up the prices on these carts recently, but it was not a cheap mistake, let's just call it that. This on the other hand was 15 bucks. A little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it is what it is. The case is in nearly perfect condition, uh, so I can use this case for my game. Um, I'll have to figure out something with the sticker. I don't know if I want to use the Japanese sticker or if I want to use like the bootleg sticker or if I want to try and transfer that sticker over. I don't know, I haven't gotten that far yet. But nonetheless, I'm going to set all these aside for now. We're going to be taking a look at this cart. I've already messed with this, including removing the battery. This cart, when I got it, did not work. It was, um, it had some water damage, and I couldn't get it to work with the battery if I wanted to. Um, at the time, I talked myself into buying this one, even though Emerald's more expensive than Ruby and Sapphire, because I figured, eh, I could use the flash chip for... Alex's flash cart. Just transfer the chip over. That'll be good and easy. Uh, but I figured then I can also use the case to fix up my other game. And had I remembered that I had this, I would have just used this. But, oh well, now I have both. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And eventually I'll probably transfer over this ROM chip to this cart because this cart works. But this is the better game. Even though they're both Japanese and I'll never play it. But it is what it is. Um, but for what it's worth, I bought this cart to do the same thing with my Ruby cart. I wanted, the shell itself was all cracked and nasty, so I bought a new OEM one. Well, new to me. But, nonetheless, I'm, uh, I'm getting distracted here. Trailing on and on about shit that don't matter. Um, I already went ahead and reflashed this cartridge so that it has a U.S. Pokemon Emerald ROM on it. But of course, there's no save because there's no save chip. This cart has a Japanese Pokemon Emerald ROM, but I already flashed a US Pokemon Emerald save to it. In fact, I just flashed the save from my cart here. So hopefully, I can plop, pop this off there, solder it onto here, and all will work. And then we'll try out the Park and see how well that works. I gotta set this aside. So to remove this, I'm gonna be using hot air. Same thing, just my heat gun here. Um, but, you know, it is a little bit loud, so headphone users, prepare to uh, lower the volume or something. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, give that a second to cool down. I should probably put something under this mat. I know it insulates heat, but it still gets a little bit warm under there, as evidenced by this heat bubble. There we go. Set this aside. Shouldn't need it anymore. This is what we want. And get this out here. This is going to go on here just like that. And uh, hopefully all will work. There is an unpopulated spot for a capacitor that I will solder on eventually, maybe. Um, if I have to pause this video, I'll go grab a capacitor, but... 
Alright, I'm doing pretty darn good on time, so I'll probably just solder down after the fact. It is a 0.1 UF. Oh, I'm gonna have to pause this video to clean up this flux anyway. So yeah, I'll I'll grab a uh, capacitor and solder it on. By the way, oh man, just got flux all over my fingers. Um, I did flash, like I said, I did flash Pokemon Emerald to this thing already. But the cart won't boot. I'm really hoping it's because it's missing that save chip. Let me uh, let me try something I haven't tried before. I always forget this is on a boom, so I can just lower it down. Of course, I'm getting pretty close to the edge of my work mat. Now I have no place to put my solder. Yeah, I'll make it work. Just pay attention to the lower right hand corner of the video and excuse me while I keep bumping the camera. There we go. So to line this up, or to get this soldered down, I'm going to just kind of tack down one of the corners here. And I don't really care about shorts at the moment, I just want it to not move. And I'm going to flip it around, line up the other side, and tack down another corner. And then... Should be good to go to solder it for real. Having a hard time getting all the pads wet though. I might need more flux. Okay. They're all soldered down. Don't know how well you can see that, but they're all also shorted out, but that's okay. Definitely going to need more flux. Okay, let's get some more flux. Just drown it in flux. I'm gonna have to clean it up anyway. By the way, the capacitor is not necessary. I don't know why that just thought of that. I'm sure it can't hurt. We need to wick that. I ran out of wick not too long ago. Or at least I killed the spool. There's a little bit left. But I have another one somewhere. Bear with me. There it is. More week. There we go. That's looking good. Oh, 
Sorry, bumping the camera. I don't want to breathe any of this in. I should get a fume extractor. By the way, Alex does sell these with the flash chip already installed. It's just more expensive and, uh, well, quite frankly, I already had a donor for the project that I previously mentioned. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break here, clean up all this dis disgusting sticky flux, and clean up this board. I'll be back in a bit. All right, so I got it all cleaned up and somehow managed to not completely fuck things up. Uh, and I've got right here something from my parts bin. This, these are just 0.1 UF um, capacitors, 0805 size. I believe that's the proper size. Yeah, it looks right. If not, it's close enough. So, again, this is not strictly required. But, what the hell, I'm here, I've already got it open. I've literally already got the capacitors. Why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Okay. So, full disclosure, I did already start playing with it. Um, I did have to reflash this thing, and I'm kind of glad I did already because Flashing this thing takes forever, but whatever. It's a big ROM card. It's a 32 megabyte ROM card. Um, I had a bad dump. Let me let me let me elaborate. Um, I tested. I flashed this. I, I I dumped my Pokemon Emerald cart, and then I just flashed this thing without testing it. While I was waiting for this thing to dry. I tested that dump that I made, and it didn't boot. So, yeah, that was an issue. Uh, I decided I should probably get a good dump and uh, do that instead. And so I did dump it until I got a perfectly working ROM, and then I flashed that. And here we are. Soldering on a capacitor with a newly flashed ROM. And I'm going to call that good. So I'm just going to stick this in the front half here. Stick that in that Game Boy. And. Well, shit, I lost my Pokemon Emerald. Oh, never mind, it's in here. So this is my legit Pokemon Emerald that I dumped the save from. Top can turn the sound off because I don't really want to listen to it. I'll turn the light off too. So it boots. That's nice. And yeah. Of course, there's no battery, so of course it detects that the battery is dead. But look, 3023, 3023, Mako Mako, 37 Pokedex, badges 8. Even at the same place. Makes sense because I dumped the save. Same Pokemon, everything. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this one off because we don't need it anymore. It was just to prove a point. This one. I'm going to go over here, and oh my goodness, I have a lot more Pokemon than I thought I did. Never mind, that'll do. Eh. I'm just going to deposit all of them anyway. What the hell? But 
just so that we have a, uh, I don't know, something cool, something definitive. The entire purpose of this was I, I just wanted to test Pal Park, <laughs> as ridiculous as that is. And save the game. Da, da, da. Saved successfully. And let's try this out. So that's in my DS Lite with Pokemon Soul Silver. And yes, this is a legit cart. Like I said, it's my original one from when I bought it back in the day when this came out in what? 2008? 9? I don't know. So just double check. Game boots. And there we go, Migrate from Emerald. Yes, we'll migrate from Mako's game pack. Yes! And look at that, it recognized the save. Can't migrate that, because they're all hidden moves. <laughs> but, there we go. I'm not really going to migrate these Pokemon, because I don't want them. But, I think it works. Smile for the camera. Um, well, there you go. If you want to get one of these carts for Pal Park, you should probably get one with the uh, flash chip already soldered on there. But, uh, I think it works beautifully. Thanks again, Alex. This is a pretty cool cart. And just... And FYI, I do buy everything out of pocket. I don't, I don't, um, I don't take freebies. So this wasn't a paid review. I, I just really wanted to test this out for myself. And uh, now we know. You don't know until you know, and now you know, so there you go.